<laughs> oh buddy they should not have let me found this play and the funny thing is the footage it's from is a week and a half old i have not used this play since i knew as soon as i called it i was gonna make a video on it and now that i have reviewed the footage for the video i'm going damn i could have had this in my playbook or made sure it was there and it would have been the difference in some of my losses by now before you stop to tell me that the quick 12 flare has always been there or it's an old play i want you to remember that i have not made any play now online videos like this since around nba 2k19 so while i'm sure it's been around i'm just talking about my experience with it and maybe showing some people who don't know or maybe don't even care to look for or run plays you remember around 2k18 and 19 i made some videos about the quick four horns flare i actually dubbed it the most unstoppable play in nba 2k18 and then in 19 i talked about how they basically added a little hitch to it which nerfed it it messed with the timing just a little bit and made it slightly less effective just off of these two examples i'm going to say quick 12 flare probably has it beat so i'm using the washington wizards when i spot this play with corey kispert i've been cooking with jordan Poole. however he is on the bench so i've got to come up with something else i know my boy kispert is there to shoot and do nothing else and immediately as i call it i say wait a minute there's my shooter about the screen there's my big man is this what i think it is it is basically what i think it is kispert is going to set the screen as soon as i saw that i already knew what time it was the big man is going to screen for him as he flares out to the three-point line and it's wide wide open oh i was already in love you might be looking at this and wondering what even is the difference between what just happened and the quick four horns flare because it actually took me a couple of replays there's two differences one is way bigger than the other the first one very subtle if you remember with quick four the big man was always pretty much already in position to set the screen as soon as your shooter was flaring out of his so in quick 12 you'll see that's different my big is actually running to his position as the shooter is still in the motion so it takes some time that's one subtle difference but the other i didn't even know this was happening you notice on the left side of the floor Kyle Kuzma is supposed to be setting a screen on the baseline for Sham. It, it, the timing is way, way off. Which actually, now that I'm looking at it, makes me wonder, is it just a ghost screen? Is he even supposed to set it? He gets nowhere close to it. If he did, Landry Shamit might have an easy lane to the basket. In this instance of it, Kuzma basically fakes it and then flares. So my guess is that in some world where the user was controlling the power forward maybe he would be sleep maybe kuzma would flare out to the corner and i would have an open shot that does not happen here but yes that did not happen in quick four horns flare quick four was between three people you could still have some options depending on what the defense did on that play but there wasn't something specifically designed for the weak side of the floor well not while the original action was going on because i do believe if the play kept going the big would then go screen for the corner that's possible anyways yeah i only ran this about three times that's all i needed the third time i don't even think i made the shot yes once again you can see here about a play later i said mm -mm -mm, let me get that again so let's see what happens with kuzma if he actually makes contact there's the kispert screen he flares out and is going to get another open shot because this user has not caught on to it just yet however yeah looking at kuz this time he flared out way harder if i would have thrown that i could have maybe gotten a shot it still maybe wouldn't have been a three-pointer but yeah actually he does not make contact with the screen so i'm gonna have to run this some more and see if that ever actually connects with the baseline cutter because if it does then yeah as we discussed if the user is playing off ball defense on the weak side and controlling either of these guys there's also potential for a bucket there he could be with bruce brown sleep as that cut is coming you'd have something with shamit or if he realized he was sleep and he dropped with the big then yes your wing shooter is open so you could have some options there still i am always more intrigued by the action with the ball and just like quick four depending on how your defender is going to take the screen you can kind of choose what you want if he had to use Halliburton to go under the screen I would have probably just stopped and popped of course a lot of the time your guard is going to be a shooter that's going to make them want to go over if the screen is good enough you're going to get the angle that I'm getting and he's going to have no choice he's going to have to stop the drive that's going to cause confusion if he's trying to stop it with healed then he is going to leave my shooter open tries to stop it with his point guard there's a chance that he will not get the bump animation I'm going to get deeper into the paint hell if he drags his center into the paint I could throw the ball to the big I could have a shot there if he then decides that he's going to take his wing guy and stop the center jump shot I could call a cut 
for Kispert, send him down there. He's either going to get a layup or maybe kick out to the wing shooter because, yeah, calling a cut might jumble it up given that you already have a baseline cutter. I think you get the point, though. You have many options out of this play, just as you did with the quick four horns flare years ago when I called it as unstoppable as it was. You throw it to your shooter. You could manipulate it depending on how your opponent is defending and get it to the corner. There are options. I don't know what playbooks this is in by default and which ones it isn't. I would recommend just making sure it's there or adding it before you start your game. I, at the time of this recording, have had some losses where I literally just needed to make one or two more shots at crucial times in the game and i'm pissed because i could have just made sure this was in my playbook and i guarantee you i'd have got something so yeah short video today i'm gonna check up on quick four horns flare see what that's like these days and hell if it's still effective i would run them both your defender whether he is an on ball guy or an off ball guy he's gonna have to make some decisions there's no way to hide if you enjoyed this video hit the like button comment sub if you enjoyed and hit the bell next to my name if you want notifications every time a new video drops appreciate you watching and i'll see you all on the next next one.